Hello guys! Um, last week I said that um, there was something that came up in my team that I wanted to um, share with you the next time. So here's the next time. Um, so I honor my commitment to share that with you. Um, and this is really the one thing, the one ingredient that you need in the recipe for success. Um, whether this is in your life, you know, private life or business, um, this is absolutely key to have the results that you want in a sustainable way. And um, I guess um, I'm probably going to gear it more towards uh, business, whether um, this is, you know, whether you are watching this and you are a traditional business owner like I was uh, when I had my clinic in London or maybe you've just moved online or you moved online a while ago and you are growing and, um, you know, your, your business. And that is something that, um, you know, that, that is a must uh, for sure um, for anyone in life and certainly any business owner. And so... You know, as you come along, please um, say we are, you know, say hi, send me some hearts. Tell me that you can hear me well. Um, it should be okay right now. It's not too windy actually here. And yeah, tell me where you are tuning in from. If you watch the replay, just hashtag replay, just so I know that, um, and that this is what you've done. And any questions, you know, anytime, just drop them as you watch this or even when you watch the replay. And I will for sure, 100%, um, come back to you and, um, and answer to the best of my ability. So the one ingredient um, that you need to include in your recipe for success is consistency. Like really have a relentless um, commitment to be consistent in whatever whatever it is that you do um, and this is really important if you want to create the outcome that you desire um, in the long term you know if you want something sustainable and really as I said earlier although I'm going to talk a little bit more about business because I have lots of you know uh, obviously business owners on on, on, on on my page and as I've you know gone through the different um, hurdles of you know setting up a business myself that's something that I really want to share but obviously it does um, you know it does apply to anything that you do in life you know relationship diet exercise um, but um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover more the uh, business side of it. So once you are clear about your vision, what it is that you want to create, you know, what it is that you want to create in your life, in your business. So it all starts with you, right? Not what others. Um, you know, want you to do, not what you think others want you to do, not what you think that culturally it is acceptable for you in that context to do, what it is that you want. Um, so really doing that work um, on the vision, um, being clear um, about what it is that, that you really want to create. And then from there, um, really, um, you know, you need to match those um actions to your desire um and this is um and and this means you know applying that on a day-to-day -day basis like really being religiously um taking actions that are aligned to what you want to create every single day um and i've you know taken some notes here um say hi if you are on uh can um Hey, hi. Um, and I've got some notes here because I have a tendency to talk a little bit too much and I really want to, you know, my intention is always to keep it um, pretty short and sweet for you guys. Um, yes. Um, 
Yeah, and what you want with consistency, what is really key is that it's not just going to create the outcome that you want in a sustainable way. This is actually super important to create compound effect um, and pay you forward. That's what you want. It's not just, you know, you've produced an effort, a consistent effort, for example, I don't know, to reach your personal best at the gym or, you know, something like this. And then you just drop it and then you're like, oh, great, you know, I've achieved it. And then you don't, you know, you don't kind of like maintain it and keep um, working on that, um, you know, in the longer term so that you can actually create more compound effect um, and that will pay you forward in so many other ways. So, um, you know, this is this is absolutely totally even more true in 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 business so um and if you think about it you know um consistency so what does that mean so let's say um you know whether you have a physical business like i had in london or whether you have an online business that means showing up every single day um that means that you know even showing up even when you don't really feel like it i'm not saying you know if you really feel sick and if you really feel bad they are obviously um you know you are obviously gonna have a certain energy that you might want to you know show up with but actually um you know and and it is fine in those moments to um you know share for example if you have an online um you know business share how you feel and do a value post on that and say actually you know what i really need a, a break and i really need a, a detox or whatever it is that you need um so that you can fill in your own cup and then provide the value and show up consistently but in general um you know, imagine that you have a shop and you are open Monday to Friday, you know, and you share your opening hours and stuff. And then someone turns up, you know, client turn up and then, oh, the door is closed. Like, what do you think it is going to create, um, you know, with those people that um, made the effort to actually turn up and, you know, um, spend up their time and energy um, and having an expectation in mind, they are probably not going to stick around and may not come back. And if they come back, um, you know, you're probably not going to have the best feedback ever. Um, if they're not pissed, they're probably going to have a, a bit of a, you know, bit of feedback or they're just going to, you know, totally forget and go to the competition, you know. So, um, so I guess it's a little bit, you know, of the same thing. It's really kind of like taking responsibility as to, especially I feel like online in a way, um, it's easier to kind of dismiss and be like, oh, like I was before, to be honest, when I had my tra traditional business, I was really not present online. And I was like, oh, you know, when I was, um, I, I, I was barely posting on my Facebook, um, you know, business page. Um, and when I was, um, and when I was, I was like, oh, well, you know, whatever. Nobody's going to look at it anyway. And, um, you know, if I don't post for one month, nobody's going to see the difference. And for sure, because I was not showing up anyway. So there was nobody to show up. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, so it's really like keep showing up um, consistently, religiously. And this is how people are going to be like, wow, you know, she's um, or he is. Um, you know, showing up all the time, you know, in the duration and, um, and there is value um, in what is, you know, in the content that, that is being shared, you know, there is a really beautiful intention. So then people are going to stick around, then people are going to, you know, get to know you, to like you and to trust you more. And this is how you are going to, you know, um, I guess, grow. Um, interest and, and value and consistency there and then you're gonna see the results but the results are not gonna come um, immediately and that's that's um, some uh, that uh, that is a typical um, uh, you know point where um, some people just give up at that point they're like well you know I'm doing all of this but like I don't really have a tangible results um, the kind of like more immediate gratification, but it's not how this works, you know, it's never how this works um, for things that are sustainable, you know, again, diet, exercise, relationship and stuff. It's something that you cultivate in the long game, you know, when you have a business, you are in for a long game. And um, 
So, yeah, so I feel it's really important um, to know that, you know, to be really clear about the vision, about the why, because this is what keeps you going, even when you don't have the results that you expect at the moment that you expect. And actually, this is another point is kind of like doing it from a I'm clear about what I want. I'm clear about, um, you know, what I want to share. I'm clear about why I'm here for um, and why I'm doing this and almost being detached about, you know, the impact, well, of the outcome um, that you want from it and just keep going. Obviously, um, that you need to have an intention, but um, doing it regardless is really going to attract actually the results that you want. So uh, let me just check my, my notes if there was something else that I wanted to um, share with you. But I, I feel like, you know, it's, it's really important when you have a business to think, well, actually, when, you know, there is no immediate gratification that is going to be sustainable. Um, and so it's kind of like staying in the course. Um, and this is where the mindset comes in. You know, actually, um, success in business, I mean, in many things, but certainly in business, it's like, you know, 80% mindset and 20% strategy and skill set. Um, so, um, yeah, like if you give up at the first hurdle, um, well, maybe this business is not for you or actually entrepreneurship is not for you because um, that's what entrepreneurship is um entrepreneurship is about is really um you know um staying um holding on to it even when it's difficult and actually the universe will reward you like hundred folds um you know will reward the ones that you know obstacle one obstacle two obstacle three wow tough but still there and still going um then, you know, um, this is going to pay off and this is going to pay you forward even more than what you think it will. Um, and I guess one, um, one thing that I want to say is obviously you want to be consistent at what, you, what feels good to you. It's not about, um, you know, being consistent at, again, you know, what you think you should do. So it's really kind of like making sure that it feels good to you. And that will mean that if, um, you know, this is, these are things that you've never done before, they are going to be discomfort. They are going to be, I'm lost, I'm not sure. They are going to be trial and error, but this is how we learn. Like, who knows everything? Nobody. And those that say that, they obviously don't know everything um, because it's just impossible. So it's really like trial and error to find what, um, you know, aligned with you. And that means that once you've defined, you know, your vision, your goal is like taking aligned action. But then it's being very clear that at some point you will need to realign. You will need to assess you know, what it is that is working great, I'm going to tweak it, do even better, keep doing. And then other things that are not working um, or that are not aligning with you, that don't really feel good, although they work really well for other people, just um, change your approach, you know, try something else. And sometimes it's not a massive change, but this is really important to refine, you know, to reassess, to um, fine tune there. Um, and if you keep doing this for everything, you are going to get the results that you want, but you need to stay on the course. Um, so yeah, the alignment is really important. And also um, to come back to what I said earlier, whereby actually success, um, and this is what we are very um, firm, like very um, into in the online uh, business platform that I belong um, that I'm a part of is mindset is super important you, you cannot create a sustainable business without having the right mindset you know and um, it's actually yeah like 80% of the job really and so if you have for example your online business you are the brand that means that you need to work on yourself as much as you work on your business. 
this is really the best recipe. You need to be as consistent as working on yourself as you work on the business. So it does not mean meditating for hours every day. Uh, great if that works for some people. That's not what I do because it does not necessarily um, at this point. Um, it's something that, you know, is key for me. Um, so it's really, you know, um, being very clear that um, the, the time, the money and the energy that you invest in your business and in taking action should be consistent, but it should be as consistent in um, the time, the money and the energy that you spend on yourself and vice versa. Some people are all about, you know, doing the inner work, but then they don't put any action in place. So um, then they're probably not going to have the result or as quicker or as well as they would like to. So, so yeah, so I think these are um, the main thing that I wanted to cover today, um, that um, being consistent, religiously consistent and keep showing up even when you don't necessarily want to show up, um, but maybe do things differently. So for example, today <laughs> I'm going to go work out very soon. I don't really feel like, you know, lifting heavy and doing high, you know, um, intense reps and, and all of that. And I'm going to do something completely different. Um, and uh, yeah, and it's totally fine. And that does not mean that this time, this is gonna you know, change everything, that I'm gonna you know, get weaker or all of that. And actually it's probably gonna be more beneficial to my mind and body to actually listen to the fact that I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna do this. Um, and um, so it's really kind of like adjusting on a day-to-day -day basis, but being committed that you are gonna be consistent um at whatever you feel is the thing that you need to be doing um to 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 grow your business the one thing that is really important to me every single day and no i'm not perfect every single day nobody is and you are not in a like the highest vibe ever every single day but it's very important to obviously you know as soon as you wake up kind of like um or you know check in with yourself and be you know check where you are where you are at and um, aim to be in the highest vibe as possible with regards to the things that are going on around you so kind of like train yourself and um, almost on on that and um, do the morning rituals um, well usually in the morning that can be throughout the day but like do the things that make that you know make you feel good for me really gratitude is super 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 important and i never watch um uh, read my messages until um until i've actually done my gratitude um and i don't really write my gratitude i just do it in my mind as soon as i wake up um when i'm still in a kind of like meditative state um because i'm still a little bit sleepy so um, and then, you know, moving daily um, and, then sh you know, um, sharing value, um, um, watching, you know, a podcast or whatever it is that you feel is means that you invest in yourself. You know, obviously, that's also like the self-care, like moving daily, like nourishing yourself, um, sleeping well so that you are actually productive um, in the um, kind of like income producing activities that um, you need to kind of be doing um, you know on a consistent basis so so I think this is it um, and um, yeah I guess the, the last thing that I wanted to um, to say really is consistency always pays off so put that in your little head consistency always pays off but it does not mean that you have to be inflexible and you know develop very strict rules about what what you need to be consistent in uh, as I've mentioned earlier there are going to be times where you are going to have to be flexible and actually it's just life you know like not everything is going to um it's gonna happen exactly as you want, um, but if you develop, you know, the the resilience and the consistency in being flexible about the type of things that you know you need to do to move your business forward, uh, then you are gonna develop that flexibility and uh, and you know being consistent and inflexible and doing the same thing over and over again. Um, 
it's not it's not good um so um it's you know it can be pretty boring and again it's like at the gym if you keep working on the same muscle maybe for a while you're going to get stronger but then you are going to lose the, the you know the compound effect and and the benefit of it so you need to change the pattern you need to readjust um and uh move from there so i hope that was um valuable uh, for some of you so if you don't see um, the exact results that you would like um, either it's because you need to refine um, you know find yeah to refine fine-tune and and adjust change the approach change something that aligns better to you um, or it's because you know you need to keep going and results are around the corner have an amazing day all